Hey everybody, how are you? Okay, this design is a design for Oktoberfest, so it's in uh, October, I guess, <laughs> but I have a festival that is right now, today, in September, and today it's September, what, September 12th, and it's happening, so um, I was thinking I'm going to surprise him with some designs, you know, that goes perfect for this occasion, so um, let's do it, it's going to be uh, this guy, it's a German guy, drinking a beer mug, and... Uh, not it's not it just takes a lot of balloons because look so many different colors and sizes of balloons but also um we're gonna make first the body and then the beer mug uh you can probably make it in different ways easier you know with just a yellow instead of uh, putting inside the yellow 160 inside the 260 clear but um you decide so this is gonna be only right now the body that's it i like the overalls what do you think so let's do that let's start um this was the first attempt. I saw that picture and I was using also that, these pictures um, to kind of like think about ideas. The face is mm, this, that's it. It's supposed to have a mustache, but it's yellow. So it's hard to see in a, with a camera, but uh, in person, right now you can see the mustache, but you can make it brown, right? So yellow it is. Okay, maybe you can make it thicker or a dark yellow, I don't know. Okay, let's start because this is all lots of balloons. So, um, okay, let's start with this. It's going to be a 350, what color? Uh, 350 brown, inflated like nine finger tail. And what you're going to start making, it, uh, they're going to be the shoes. So for the shoes, you can make it simple. That is going to be just a loop, you know, and this loop is no more than three finger bubble. And then a pinch twist. And bubble, that's it. Uh, cut the rest yeah and save it because we're gonna make something really cool that are gonna be uh, shorts for this guy so save it just like that then pass this around a couple times you can try it and then we're gonna go with it. what color is this uh, white so the white is the white to 60 inflated eight finger or nine finger tail and what we're gonna do it's just very little so you just can use a scrap you just attach it to the leg and then uh you measure like like four or three finger bubble and then you're gonna make um a pinch twist and then you're gonna make another pinch twist so we have two pinch twists and then we're gonna go the other side with just one finger bubble and then we're gonna make pinch twist and another pinch twist and then we're gonna go down with another three or four finger bubble like this one so this technique is the same technique that i use to make also the superhero's body especially this part you know so now you can get rid of this unless you want to use this one for make little bubbles from the spoon 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 from you know the beer the bubbles <laughs> you can do that and i will not i'm gonna save it just because that way we don't need to use another 160 white so you just use this 260 little piece get rid of um, tie this and make sure it doesn't escape so we have this yep long socks good now next balloon is going to be a 260 and this, this 260 it's going to be inflated knife finger tail again and what you need to do is uh, you're going to make something very interesting here look it's just two pinch twists attach it to one of these two pinch twists and then make a pinch twist a squish and make another pinch twist the same size if it's possible okay then you're gonna go a squish and go back to the first the white pinch twist because all these ones are gonna be connected it's gonna so squish the air pass it and this pinch twist is gonna be the, the next bubble that goes to the other side to this side it's gonna be a small like this one the white that is here one finger bubble but in the back so that's what i'm doing in the back i'm making a one finger bubble and so that way is the back people's not gonna see that because especially people like to see the front for this design and that's what we have those are gonna be the knees so we're gonna do this again the other side now we're in the in the, in the other side we're gonna make a pinch twist but make sure it's not it's the same size so it's like a two finger bubble pinch twist and then the other side one more time two finger bubble and pinch twist 
and then uh, that's all you're gonna cut the balloon look you cut it but make sure you save some because we're gonna use it for the arms so you have oh this this is gonna be arms hands and arms you know because the idea is also trying to save balloons and don't use many so with the rest i tied it and i pass it around you know between uh using the white 260s and the blush so we have shoes socks knees now let's go with the shorts so for that we're going to use the rest of the 350 balloon brown and what we need to do is um you're going to attach it to this uh you decide which side do you prefer to start the pinch twist these ones so you're just going to use this time only those pinch twists you don't have to worry about the white anymore the white pinch twist so from there and now you're gonna make like two or three finger bubble and make it into pinch twist and that's gonna be the moment that we're gonna see if we're gonna have enough we're gonna make another pinch twist and remember those are gonna be on top and if, if that gets and twist you see it goes untied from here maybe that's okay because what we need better is to accommodate these two pinch twists then make a bubble and then make two more pinch twists and that's gonna be the hardest part because it's we're getting you know low with this so maybe you can start again make sure you have enough so you're gonna make one pinch twist you're gonna make two bubbles twist it together and then you're gonna make that into pinch twist double pinch twist we call this and then you're gonna go to one side and and then you're gonna have something like this look it's okay if you came and then you're gonna make like a very small bubble like a two finger bubble because it's a 350 by look and then you're gonna make again another pinch twist and another pinch twist now when you have that you can get rid of this very carefully and make sure the next balloon you're gonna use is gonna be um, teal so for the first time I was thinking to just using a round balloon thinking oh it's gonna have a bill it's gonna be you know chubby but it doesn't really matter much you know so um or that's the thing is that I'm not gonna have a balloon to have part of the the shirt you know so um I decide to try this time with a 260 uh, pale blue or light blue and so from here what we can start doing and let me think how is this gonna work i guess i'm gonna get rid of this but first we're gonna we're gonna leave this for a because first i'm gonna make now the shirts we're gonna leave it here for a moment don't pop this yet and we're gonna make one of the arms so this balloon is a light blue inflated like nine finger tail you're gonna start making a pinch twist another pinch twist so two pinch twists and then you're gonna make a little bending a little way now and this is gonna measure just three finger bubble so when you have that you know it's got to be very very short because it's kind of half you know the jacket this way you know only covering this side so you're gonna measure three finger bubble and then you're gonna make a pinch twist another pinch twist so that's going to be the neck and then from there you're going to measure let's go with four finger bubble okay then again four finger bubble and then let's go back with the four finger bubble oh my goodness i'm losing the head <laughs> and then you pass it through and then you're going to make four finger bubble so then when you have that you're going to have enough to attach it to make the other arm or part of the shirt so you're gonna bend it again and remember that first part is gonna make sure just only three finger bubble or if you want go well, three finger bubble thing will be good enough um let me measure it so you bend it three finger bubble well this one is four right so let's try to make it in three and then um you make two pinch twists and you're gonna leave it just like that so um with this you cut it and you're not gonna have enough so that's gonna be a bummer but because now it is moment to <laughs> connect these two together how 
and this is a way you can grab a balloon scrap or you know there's gonna be scraps that you will get from example from this design the green because that's gonna be the hat but we're not making the hat we're starting from the shoes and going up so for that reason I'm gonna just use a balloon scrap that I have right here for example this black and this is just a balloon scrap so from here you're gonna uh, lose now the pinch twist here so make a little hole this I mean bubble the, the last you're gonna tie it and connect it to the scrap the balloon scrap and you're gonna see what I'm gonna do here because this part it's um it's just an interesting you know idea and let's see if you like it but um, it's a way to keep going and don't start blowing more balloons if it's not necessary like this way so you have this connected to one side of the two pinch twist and you're gonna just go and pass it through here mm -hmm. and it's deflated so and you connect it there and then you pass the other the other two pinch twists the other side and there it goes that's it you can go back you know or pass it just from those so it's connected there okay so if you have a longer pinch twist what you can do now too that could be a good idea is to connect it um to the rest of the the legs you see so that long pinch twist actually could also go around these two because these are two pinch twists so you can connect you know as many as much as you want with just a simple um pinch uh, piece of balloons scraps why we're doing that because um you know we don't have enough you know and i don't want to use the balloons that we already have the colors we have so what i'm doing is attaching a balloon scrap and tie them from these two pinch twists all the way these two pinch twists if, if you want some of the white you can go ahead and grab some of the white too so i'm gonna go pass it through only that and then i can go back from between this you know two bubbles of the blue and then go to the other side and attach the other flash pinch twist and that's a way to everything is connected people is not gonna see the balloon scrap because it's hiding in between those pinch twists so what i'm doing is just wrapping it around and that's another good way to use your balloon scraps don't you think so then you just accommodate things and so that's gonna give it uh, the shape to make this design with you know shorts so she's gonna have these chubby legs at the end like hips i guess and then now it's uh the body we have this part what else could we use now uh maybe hands so we finish with the blush and for that we're gonna just make a little bubble uh loop like a no more than two finger loop connect these two together and then you just have to um cut just like here how long three finger bubble and pass it through these two pinch twists and save balloon because you're gonna need to the other arm so you're gonna start calculating things this way you make a bubble a loop and then the rest if it's happening like that things is happening right now here for example and you don't want to pop it because you don't gonna have enough time you know space to tie so you just have to make a little bubble and then you just attach and twist it around these two pinch twists, the other arms. And that's kind of a way. And then those pinch twists, people don't have to see it if you can hide it in the back. <laughs> yep. And there we go. Now you can make sure you tie this one so it doesn't get a twist. You can always use the balloons, you know, and tie them. That's especially if you know there's not going to be more balloons around there. You know that's that's a reason why i tie the balloons sometimes and sometimes i don't because if there is going to be more balloons passing the same place so you don't have to uh tie the balloons okay so you have this look it's like the arms now you have a different shape of um cloth but it's cool the best part for me is to make the overall part and for that you're going to need a 160 brown and inflated like what is this seven finger tail yeah and now you're gonna make look this is gonna be fun a pinch twist okay lock them lock that pinch twist you're gonna make sure here like maybe three finger bubble 
a pinch twist then you're gonna go up with three finger bubble and then pinch twist and now here is gonna be like probably two finger bubble and then pinch twist and then here and then close it so it's like a, a trapezoid right it's not a square because this side is shorter than this one and when you have that close now you're gonna use the rest to go around the body in the back so that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna connect this in the middle and look at my melon right here and and then i just go around you see that part is in the center Go around and twist it with the other pinch twist. And doo -doo 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 -doo. So when you have that, now here, I think will be a good idea if we cut here, cut it, tie it, okay, save it. Make sure you tie this part too, pass it around and what i'm doing so now it's go it's time to go up you know so now you can go all the way from here all the way here make a pinch twist put it under here so that's going to make some pressure and then go up until the other bottom yep that's what i did now i attach it and then I pass it around I go all the way down I pass it from here all the way there measure make a pinch twist and it's hiding there look I open this I push the pinch twist it's gonna be locked there and then I go up and finish it and close you know in the other bottom and that's all folks now this is the back and this is the front and i think it's so cute this can be also a body when you want to make a, a little boy you know it can be with this type of clothes overalls i think it's cute or any type of design idea so uh look <laughs> it's looking like a uniform yeah a school uniform okay now let's go with the head so it's always gonna be in one video yep let's do that so for the head you're gonna need yellow 160 inflated like 10 or 9 finger tail and then ah, oh, the blush the head yes you have to inflate a 5 inch round blush doesn't have to be actually you don't need the link loon because with this technique you're gonna be able to do it um you will see this is gonna be the apple twist and then you just grab a 260 green that green i think is better inflate it like nine finger tail and what you're gonna have to do first is part of the hat so it's like a four finger bubble another four finger bubble and then you're gonna go up with a four finger bubble and make an up this shape like push the last bubble you did push it through these two in the front and push it and roll it while well, you push you roll and feel it there and that's it now you're gonna cut leaving some space there but don't get rid of this uh 260 green yet so tie it put it safe you can tie this pull and tie just like this and now grab the end put your finger down and whatever oh, the head so you're gonna grab the head and make an apple twist these two together so it's a marriage twist you're gonna pew connect it there so the space here is not much look but it's gonna be making pressure so you push all together and grab it the other side and when you grab both you twist now you can use a balloon scrap look for a balloon scrap um i have lots of balloon scraps so i'm gonna use this cream i pull grab it with my hand look grab it pull pass it around and that's a very fast way to um to do it i think now um you're gonna grab this and connect it already to the head yeah to the body yeah why not you can so now pass it through the two pinch twist that we did with the light blue 260 balloon and that's gonna be 
So you decide which side you want to use of the head. And that's another thing, depending on the expressions you want to use. I'm going to keep it this way. Look. Now, with this rest of the 260 uh, green, you're going to make a pinch twist. If you want, you can make a second pinch twist. It's up to you. But then you squish, stretch. And now you're going to pass it around. So these two pinch twists are going to be in the back. And then I just pass it around. And and close it and cut and you don't need this anymore but save it because always it's good to have scraps okay and now tie this too just in case you never know <laughs> and now look i like to play with these sides i just grab the sides you see the side and pinch it so it's gonna have some shade there but um it's up to you at the end it all depends to if you feel like there's no time let's make this fast you can also just make heads heads and bracelets okay it's so up to you there and you can play maybe with the color so if you make petals with like a flower with light um light blue and then only two petals or two of the petals that be brownish it can be you know like a cool bracelet with the head okay you have that now you're gonna grab the 116 plated like nine finger tail ten and you attach it to this pinch twist in the back of the hat and then you're gonna make just bubbles or you can go and make a line you know, because the other idea and this is the thing you can play with different techniques you can do that and then go to here a prox and make a pinch twist and then keep going line so it's gonna have another type of hair but i think in uh, the idea to make bubbles it's a cool i'm, I'm hitting my hat I'm getting my balloon hat. That's what it sounds like that. Okay, so what? I, this is what I'm doing. Look, look, look. Just a lot of bubbles and you measure it until you go to the other side. You see? All, all around the head. So you measure that. Uh, twist the bubbles. I recommend you four times. Yeah, because it can get and twist and you don't want that. So now you close that. Cut. And we're almost done. So this video, uh, as you can see, this is not a, uh, I don't think it's for a line twist unless you make it, you know, very uh, more simple than what I'm showing you right now. But uh, what I think it's gonna be cool is to surprise, you know, you come out pre-made it, why not, right? Um, so when you have that, you can always, this is a thing, a balloon scrap, red or reddish, and you just put puff some air, you pop there, oh well, now with the coronavirus, I think, maybe don't pop air. <laughs> you just grab a pump or just pretend you put some air, pew, pew, pew there, and then you just tie this together. Doesn't matter how big it is, you tie it. And it's just a little red thing that is gonna be attaching it onto the hat. That's what I'm planning to do. And it can be as long as, you see, it's still kind of like looking with some air there. This little thing, look, <laughs> it's nothing, right? But it's gonna give it a little bit of detail if you attach it in one side of the hat. Look, that's it. If you can make it this bigger, you have a bigger balloon scrap, great. If it's not, I think that's gonna be good enough. Now, what else here? Whoa, we have the body. Now, Sharpie time. Okay, Sharpie time. So the beer mark, what do you think? Should I show you how to, I made this? Or yeah, maybe for the a second tutorial, okay? Second tutorial is gonna be that, um, so part two. So then we have more tutorials for Oktoberfest and now a playlist that gonna make that is called Oktoberfest, balloon designs, something like that. So let's see, look, I'm gonna show you the picture I copied this thing. So it doesn't probably look at all what I made, but that it is. So you decide if you wanna do it, okay? Uh, so what I did, I start, let me see, how can I, I did this before this way. Um, so you're gonna see the picture all the time there, the real one that I copy, and then you're gonna see how I made it this way. So I'm gonna recommend you, if you can, because it's hard, because always you start, uh, if you are right-handed, probably you always make the right eye and everything right first. But I recommend you to go to start to the left. Yeah, because as soon as you make a line, the other one will be easier, I guess, you know, to find the same level. But I make just those lines, so in case you don't have time, you don't have to put color blue or white and blah, blah, blah. Just like that. And if you have time, you can always put some eyelashes and, and then you can make maybe some circle like this. But then with blush, because you don't want to use like another balloon and type it there, like a little bubble. 
that could be, you know, a possibility, but it's gonna take forever. So I just make this a nose. And this one is gonna be like this, or you can make it the other side, like a letter U. It doesn't matter much, it's just a, not right now. And then, both, I just go with generic, thinking that all German guys have blue eyes, so I'm gonna round and make some blue eyes. And then, maybe, it's gonna have some cheeks, but first here, maybe I should close a little bit and make the line. Let me show you what I'm doing so far. So this is what I'm doing so far. You see? Now, um, then from here, mustache, and I'm using this yellow Sharpie, so a liquid maybe Sharpie will be better, but it's a eyebrows, very thick, so people can see the yellow. And then maybe with the yellow you can make some eyebrows, uh, I mean eyelashes a little bit there. Um, and now that you sharpie yellow, it have some black because you mix it up there a little bit, it's gonna be dark. So you're gonna just make a mustache and the mustache is uh, something like start from the nose, makes an angle and go up. So I make this, this is gonna be one side of the mustache. Oh, how to show you, I don't know if you can see. You see, it's a, uh, it's like a little L, S, so massive. So you're gonna do the other side, the same up, and uh -huh, and you're gonna pass them to make it thicker. And then when you have that in the center, it's gonna have more like the mustache coming down. So that's what I'm doing, and just in the center. Pee -pee 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 so you have that. It's yellow, so I don't know if it could be a good idea to make it brownish, but no, I'm gonna leave it that. And then with some uh, pink, you can start making some cheeks. So I'm just going with circles because this is a cartoonish design. So I'm gonna make just circles in the cheeks. And then here, a smiley face, just like that look. And then here, gonna close that. And then inside with white Sharpie, I'm gonna just color so it's having showing the teeth but it's all about time right so you decide how much and then here you just go around and, ooh, 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 and around and around and around so this is just the only thing i'm doing around and then in the center a circle just like that and that's all yeah that's it you can also i don't know should i color it all the way I think the nose will be better, maybe all the way. <laughs> you decide. <laughs> and that's all, folks. What do you think about this cool guy? It's a German guy. Now the the Mach. Okay, stay tuned for the next tutorial. It's gonna be the beer Mach. Bye. Hey, one more thing. If you like this video, if you are enjoying all of my videos here and this awesome YouTube channel about balloon twisting tutorials, don't forget you can always donate because all you give money, it's very well appreciated for this channel to be better, you know? So, you go um, go donate to my uh, PayPal account at pataglobal at gmail.com and I will appreciate it for sure! <laughs> Thank you! Bye!